Hey guys, this is Chef Omega. We get a lot of questions about thermocouple calibrators versus thermocouple calibration. They sound similar, but are vastly different. Stick around, because we're going to break it down for you right here. So thermocouple calibrators versus thermocouple calibration. What's the diff? First, let's talk about thermocouple calibrator. This is a thermocouple calibrator. It's used for calibrating devices that use thermocouples as an input signal such as meters, controllers, transmitters, data loggers, and recorders. How it works is that you dial in the exact temperature you want to simulate to the device that you want to calibrate. It does this by generating a thermoelectric signal that matches the temperature value, like a real thermocouple. Most calibrators have a high accuracy to ensure that your end device gets the most precise signal. Now let's talk thermocouple calibration. We know that most applications require a high level for accuracy, but if you're working within the confines of industry standards such as ISO or ANSI, any calibration of your equipment must be performed by a certified calibration lab, like Omega's New Jersey Calibration Center that provides you with an NIST traceable calibration certificate to the calibration level that is required by your certifying body. So what takes place in a typical thermocouple calibration? We set up this mock calibration to demonstrate the process. And just to drive the point home, kids and you grown-ups too, don't try this at home. Remember, a certified calibration must be done by a certified calibration lab. So here, we're calibrating a Type-K thermocouple probe. We have it inserted into our dry block, and we have it set for 100 degrees C. We're using this as our reference. We then have the Type-K thermocouple connected to our reference probe that's inserted into an ice bath, maintaining a temperature of zero degrees C. Then we have the other side of the reference probe connected to a digital multimeter that's giving us the raw millivolt signal from the thermocouple. And as you can see on the multimeter, the millivolt signal matches the temperature of the dry block. So this thermocouple passes our mock calibration. Well, that's the difference between a thermocouple calibrator and thermocouple calibration. If you have any questions, give us a call or chat online with us at omega.com. And make sure to hit that subscribe button.